know, I absolutely love my tools and there are a few that I love more than this old barrow. I've had it for about 20 years and we have moved mountains of mulch and compost and soil and even concrete together. You can see she's got a few holes, but this barrow is still in pretty good nick. Now in contrast, this barrow here is completely clapped out, but the rest of the barrow, well, it's gonna get a reno. The base of this barrow is actually in really good nick. It's got galvanised steel arms and this tyre is nice and wide. It actually provides a really stable barrow base. So I want to make a flat bed barrow out of this where I'm going to cover this in timber and put a nice foot on it so I can move things like bales of straw and trays of plants that can be a little bit tricky to move in a bucket style barrow. Now the first thing I want to do is replace some of these rusty bolts with better quality ones and then I can get to work making the rest of the barrow. Now that those legs are really stable, I can start to work on the barrel itself. Now the design is really simple. I'm gonna use these legs and put a deck across the top and then utilize this brace to make a foot. It'll act a little bit like a trolley. Now that is a point that might take quite a bit of weight, so I need to reinforce it. I'm gonna use a couple of timber uprights to attach the deck to here, but I wanna reinforce them because this point will be where it gets a lot of pressure. So I'm gonna use a little bit of galvanized steel. The legs are gal, so it's good to match the same metal to any join you make, so you don't have a reaction between the two. Now that that little reinforcement is there, I can work out how this foot is going to sit. Now, it's going to have a couple of uprights. This is just decking timber. It's 90 millimetres wide. This is Macrocarpa cypress, but you could use any decking offcuts that you could get your hands on. I'm going to notch them out at the back with a little bit of chiselling so they fit fairly well on that prop. And then I'll bolt them into place. Now that I've attached this, it's nice and sturdy and it means I can start to work on the timber that's going to form the whole bed of this flatbed. I want this to work with the taper. You can see that here you've got a wheel that is nice and sturdy, but it comes out to that real shoulder length of that wheelbarrow cart. So I'm going to work with that. So I want to make sure that it overhangs a little bit on each side, maybe about 50 millimetres. And then I'm going to give it a bit of excess because I'm going to cut that on a nice taper once it's all secured. I'm going to use a decking screw that's designed for steel joists, so I think it's going to work really well. I need to clamp them into place and then I'll use some of the old rusty bolts to give my spacings the whole way up the deck. Now I've fixed all of those pieces onto the frame. I need to get a nice even cut along the taper. And I have gone one board further than I intended to, which I need to be a bit careful about when I'm using it. You don't want to put any weight at the back of a barrow. But I thought this would be quite good as a working surface. And also it would help to protect my hands if there's any big loads that are running all the way along. Now that they're all fixed into place, it's time to cut them to create one deck. I'm just using an old picket as a straight edge. I'll clamp it into place and it'll give me a single line to run the circular saw the whole way along. Now that I've got that deck in place, I can finally put the rest of the foot on. That's ready for a little bit of sanding, a bit of oil and a test run. Well, I reckon this flatbed barrow is going to be a fantastically useful part of my garden. It's going to be great for carting things, I can sit on it and plan my next move. But most importantly for me, it's made a useful tool out of something that was going to be waste. And I reckon that is a great thing to spend a weekend doing. <laughs> <laughs>